Hi, this is Desa. I'll be talking about week three, diversity, equity, inclusion. So I really enjoyed the articles, all of the linked videos. They were so interesting to me. It's There have been thoughts that have been circulating in my head, I would say, in the past three years because, um, as you know, there isn't a lot of diversity represented in the music curriculum, especially where I went to college. They didn't do a good job at representing different cultures and all of that and it was really hard and it was a struggle for me at times but um, I'm glad that this is an issue that is in mu music education today that needs to be more um, there needs to be more representation so the video that I chose is called intro to powwow and so I chose this video it's great for kids um, there's a little character in there her name's cotton ball and she kind of asks questions about what is a powwow different types of dances who can attend what do you do and kind of like the etiquette that goes along with it. And the reason why I picked it is because powwows are very social events and they're great for music educators who may be shy to like approach something that's Native American, but powwows are very social events and uh, anyone can go. This um, intro to powwow video connects to I think it connects to equity because it's, you know, it's eliminating that barrier that maybe non-Indigenous people think that, oh, I can't go because um, I'm not Native or I can't go out there and dance because I don't have regalia. But actually, there are a lot of dances during the powwow that you can go out and dance. One of them is the inner tribal. Um, there's also the round dance they have this thing called the potato dance where you, you just put a potato between your forehead and your partners and you dance in a circle and you whoever drops their potato first loses so and the point is like there's a lot of social dances um out there that you can incorporate into your classroom the second video that kind of goes along with intro to powwow is the basic steps. So this is kind of like if you do want to go out there to dance during an inner tribal or whenever the announcer, there's always an announcer at a powwow, whenever he invites the spectators to come out, you can go out there and do that. And no one's going to look at you weird. Um, like I said, we're really open to people coming and I want people to um, be able to even show this kind of thing in their classroom because um, Montana, there's a lot of surrounding tribes and I feel like there is, there needs to be some knowledge that Native Americans still exist in a modern context. With that, there's a lot of uh, Native American musicians who are doing a contemporary approach to music. One of them is um, Superman, he was linked in our lecture, a DJ Shub, a tribe called Red, they incorporate a lot of like techno into their music. Uh, there's Jackie Bird, she does guitar and singing, Fawn Wood, hand drum, um, she does a lot of um, solo singing. And there's also Kevin Locke. He does Native American flute and hoop dancing. So all of those are great avenues to explore. And I was looking at that Indian Education for All website, and those are great resources. So I would definitely start there if you need some more information. And I would use it with these students, um, these videos, uh, pretty much any time of the year. Um, one of the things that the article mentioned that to avoid the idea of box checking. So yes, like don't just pick something because it's Native American month. Um, maybe if you could incorporate the different types of drum beats into your classroom, maybe like as a, a game, um, if you're elementary teacher um, or as a review, you could do it throughout the year and kids will really be like, oh, that's interesting. You could even look it up on YouTube. Um, there's so much things out there that you can look up. And I really want to uh, eliminate the barrier that exists between um, non-natives and native people because we really are um, a social, well, powwows are really social events. And I feel like that 
um, music educators can learn a lot from them and incorporate a lot of those elements into their classroom. For example, like even something simple like piano and forte. Um, there's a lot of things that you can do to help your students understand that Native Americans exist in a modern context today. So I hope that it helps you guys. And if you ever have any questions, don't be afraid to ask me. Uh, I'm really passionate about this because I dance at powwows. And so I do a lot of incorporating like this into my own classroom. Um, maybe more at an advanced level because my students already know what a powwow is. Um, but for the beginners out there, that's something, this is something good where you can start with. Uh, thank you guys.